Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Jade here. Uh, switch guilds to always hostile. Um, so here are my guild war attacks for today. Starting with the highest might, 278,000. Uh, today we faced Europa, Gildia Polska, Alpaca, and Reyna. This one, MSW, kind of had an interesting split base. I noticed if I had everyone on the left side or top side that uh, there'd still be heroes left in the bottom. So I just threw out Skull Knight and the rest of the heroes up top. Got PD proccing or stacking. Once he was stacking, it kind of went down pretty fast. Yeah, so that was MSW 1811. I normally try to start with the highest might and then kind of work my way down. Like if I'm not having luck, I'll just kind of move down. I'd rather not drop a flame. So, you know, hitting the top seven, top eight, it's better than trying over and over, cutting it really close, getting in the high 40s, and then, you know, dropping a flame or doing a back out fail. This one, I had an easy time with Dean 1978. Uh, this base style kind of has an easy time when you drop from the bottom. But uh, I actually got it in one go, which is pretty sweet. I keep pulling down the top because I want to make sure I'm recording. Sometimes I forget to record and then it's done, so... Yeah, that was D 1978. Let's see. This one was kind of annoying when um, Skull Knight and the other heroes went directly go in the base. So I had Skull Knight take out the outer two buildings and then follow with the rest of the heroes. And I had PD follow in, and I tried to have Cupid follow as soon as PD procs. So as soon as PD procs, I want Cupid to go out there, and then basically Pumpkin Duke will get a, a second stack. And uh, with a 10 out of 10 PD, two stacks means Skull Knight is going full speed with uh, Blitz on your Skull Knight. So two stacks later, Skull Knight's going full speed, and then it's over really fast. Let's see, 248,000 might. This one, same thing. It's kind of annoying to get the heroes directly in there. I didn't like them going around the outside getting hit by those arrow, tire, arrow towers that were fully leveled. So I put out Skull Knight, had him take out the outer two buildings, dropped everyone else, dropped Pumpkin Duke on the left, got him to stack once. Once Cupid procced, PD stacked twice, and then uh, it's pretty much over at that point. Once these um, sniping heroes have two procs on them with, with a Cupid buff, it's just over. So 23%, you see uh, Ghoul is still alive, took him out easy, and then it's, it's done at that point. And then it's just a matter of cleaning up the, the rest of the buildings on the outside, which seems like it takes forever sometimes. So that was DHD. Last one. Kind of a similar base, you know, gotta take out these outer two. I think the better base style is when you have to go around the outside, then it, it it's really hard to get your heroes to go on the inside. This one was pretty easy to get it after taking out two buildings or so. Once again, it was just a matter of uh, my corrode going off on Skull Knight Pumpkin do proccing a couple times and it was over. This one wasn't very hard.
But yeah, those are the attacks for today. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Let's see how I did for score-wise. I think I was over 3,000. Yeah, 3,029. Pretty good score. One of my higher scores. All right, thanks, guys.